Hello, hello guys. Happy Friday. I just finished with work. I work from home today. And why my camera is so bright? Oh, worse here. Is it better? It's better. I just finished work and it's Friday and it's a long weekend for us. It's Labor Day on Monday. So the plan is to go to the lake and with Papa and we're gonna spend the weekend over there. In the meantime, because we're getting ready, I just finished with work. Look what I received. I received my bag. Yes, this is the bag. Reason of why I sold maybe 15, 17 bags of so far. Mm -hmm. And I saved money as well. And I bought my dream bag. And there is another dream bag coming. Yes, I bought two bags. But this is this is the one that I was expecting like honestly I was checking the tracking number every day and I knew that it was going to arrive today <laughs> so when I saw that you no, the DHL car you know the van that they deliver the packages I saw the van and I was like maybe that's my bag and I went outside and I opened the door well, I opened the door and went outside and it was the guy and he brought um, the box and I was like, oh my gosh, this is my bag. And yes, it is my bag. So I'm gonna show you my bag. And then I realized that I am buying a lot of stuff to build my perfect fall wardrobe. So I'm just going to show you because I am focusing to get pieces that are classic and it's, yeah, they're an investment and I want to show you because in case that you're interested because they're really really nice yes most uh, of the items are blazers and trousers you know that I'm an engineer so I work on a office environment so for me it's very important to dress with blazers and trousers plus it's my thing I have been buying pre-love as well a lot of items from Bestier collective from Poshmark from the Rio Rio that's my second bag I bought it from the real real before I start showing you the items let me show you today's outfit I am wearing this bodysuit from Express love it so much and these oh, these are so good I really love the loose bottom and the pleats these are pants from Sawi. they have pockets and I love them guys they fit me a little bit big yes these ones are size small and I need to send them to the tailor because look at this oop uh, bad blogger bad blogger let me show you they're a little bit big however I'm okay with that and yes uh, they look pretty nice with the sneakers I really love the concept of tight here at the top and loose here at the bottom and then the sneakers because I was working from home and that's a really nice way to look put together I meanwhile well, you are home right because I don't want to be dressing with sweatpants well it's it's not appropriate sweatpants right now because it's super hot and we have the AC on right now by the way if you hear something that's the AC and thank god because it is 95 degrees Fahrenheit it's very very toasty that's why I'm wearing this kind of like a formal but not formal type of thing outfit and I feel very very comfortable I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of the items that I have been receiving because these are not all of them. However, we need to post a video this, this Sunday, so I'm just gonna go through all of them and show you how they fit. Full of designer items, really high quality pieces that I am so, so proud. This dress is absolutely a winner, despite that it's from Stawi. <laughs> this is the only one that is not like designer brand type of thing, but it's really, really nice. Look at this, we have Prada as well. I bought these ones a pretty lot, but you know what? Let me start showing you. I'm gonna put you right there. I think that's a good frame. You can see the window, you can see the rack here, so it's a nice. So the first item that I'm gonna show you, this one's, okay. I have been looking for a nice pair of brown tall boots. And I believe that I asked you for suggestions as part of my latest videos and I didn't receive any suggestions. 
<laughs> I feel <laughs> yeah you guys are, don't want to help me anyway so I have been looking for a nice pair of leather toe boots and I was taking a look on the new Prada ones these ones uh, they're so amazing and since I have the black color you know that I have been wearing those non-stop the black color from Prada I bought them last year and I love those boots they're so comfortable they're leather the highest quality and it's an investment and I know that I don't need another black tall pair of boots these are my boots okay so and I'm showing you here so I didn't want to spend a lot of money on boots so I started looking on the pre-love websites and I bought these ones at the real real these ones are Prada and these are the boots that I bought and I am so so happy they're size 38 because my black color leather boots from Prada are size 38 and I found these ones at the real real guys you saw that I received them with the dust bag from Prada and these are my boots look at this they have the logo here it's not that flashy okay and it's this beautiful chocolate brown color and they are amazing they're in excellent condition guys I bought them for $300 the retail price of these ones are 1500 mm -hmm. so when I saw these ones at 300 I was like uh, yeah so I was looking for my size and they have the size 38 they were meant to be so I am very very happy with my new pair of boots so I'm just going to link some in the description box below some from the real real if you're interested because I think second hand look at this this is in great condition buying second hand is good <laughs> and I am obsessed by pre love seriously I love thrifting I love finding good deals so these for me are absolutely a winner and I am beyond happy with this purchase yes okay so I'm gonna take you back about this you know I was saving money here and saving money there <laughs> because I want to show you a piece that I invest and I invest on a Max Mara it's not a coat it is a best it's a best coat that's how they call it okay and oh this is not the coat this is the other item okay I'm going to show you the coat and I I have this in my wish list for a long, long time. Let me just take it off from the hinder. And this is from Maxmara. And it's an investment. And it will look really nice with long sleeve dresses. Because just like this, I think so. But look at this going to look like this and I wanted one of these for such a long time guys and I think it's going to be so so nice okay so here it is it looks like a vest but it's a coat and I think it's really appropriate to wear it here in San Diego because in San Diego it's not super cold in comparison to New York or Chicago they have real winter okay yeah a, a really nice way to wear it is with a bow here at the back and it looks like a vest which is pretty nice and it has pockets does it yes it does have pockets here on the side so this one was an investment and I am beyond happy with this I think it will look really amazing with a long sleeve turtlenecks or long sleeve shirts whatever so you can just you know show the sleeves and then just put this on and voila you are ready to go so very pleased with this one oh, it's happening oh I have the tag there 
And as I told you, this one was an investment. I was looking on a pre-blog market. I couldn't find any. I found one on size 42 or 48. I'm just going to link it in the description box below because it was a deal, guys. It was, I think it was listed for 300 or 200 dollars. So it was amazing. I was like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. So, but it's not my size. This one is a size 26 or extra small. Yeah, extra small, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I asked for the smaller size and they gave me this, they gave me this size, extra small, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then the next item that I bought from Max Mara, I bought it a month ago, but I had I had an opportunity to wear it because um, they fixed the hem, the hem of these pants, and they're pretty nice, guys. Okay, so it's just a black pair of trousers they're high-waisted and they look incredible guys incredible the, the quality is just perfection and they fit me a little bit long but they have the service that they can tailor the pants for you so they did it for me these ones are size 2 I have a story by the way at the beginning, when I stopped by the store, um, one of the girls told me, oh, you're looking for size 10. And I was like, size 10? I was like, I don't think so. Are you, I'm usually size 0 to a 4. And she said, oh, no, no, you are size 10. And she gave me this dress. And I was like, uh, first of all, I didn't ask you for a dress. And second, I'm not size 10. So I didn't say anything to her. So I was like, OK. So you think that I'm gonna fit here? She said, yeah, oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try it on. So I tried the dress on and it was huge. And she said, oh, maybe you're size eight. I was like, no, I'm not size eight. I'm size, probably on this, I'm size zero or a two. Most likely I'm size two. So she said, oh no, no, it's too small for you. Too small for you. And I was like, you know what, I was playing along, but I was like, oh, this lady doesn't know anything. I asked for somebody like, hey, can you give me a size zero and two on this and this dress? And then the other lady got offended because I asked help to another lady. Anyway, it was very, very weird. So the second lady helped me and I was like, okay, I was not even going to try this dress. She just gave me this dress to try on and I was proving that I'm not size 10. <laughs> or eight and she said oh no don't worry and but but I really want to try this pants so she said okay I think that your size zero I tried the size zero they were too tight uh, I went up one size the size two and they fit like a glove but they were a little bit long so it's a good that they have the service of the tailoring and they fix it for me and uh, they, the pants stay there for like a month because I didn't pick them up <laughs> yeah, so that's what happened. Okay, moving on. The second item that I bought is this Ralph Lauren white shirt. It's just a nice white shirt by Ralph Lauren. This one is a non iron and is size small. Next, I bought oh, you. You knew that I was going to order this because this was part of uh, one of my latest videos and I already received it. And this is my Ralph Lauren blazer. It's a wool blazer and it's absolutely gorgeous. The highest quality here. I received it, I opened it, I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is just a perfection. It's brown color, I think this blazer will match perfect my boots. Look at this, these two together. And it's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This one is from Farfetch and there were few sizes left, so if you're interested, grab it right now because this one, this one is, is really good. And then the second blazer that I bought, I stopped by Banana Republic. And I do have the Banana Republic credit card. I'm just telling you my story. <laughs> and I have a lot of reward points if you sign for their credit card. This is not a sponsor, but I'm just telling you my story. I, I had a lot of rewards 
points. And I was taking a look at the Banana Republic and lately Banana Republic is very like safari type of vibe, right? They level up their quality. Their quality is just amazing. All the items that they have at the store right now, they're like high quality and you can see that they ele they're elevating the brand. I felt in love with this blazer. I saw it, I was like, that's amazing. I really like that it's not a true white color. It's more like an ivory color and it has lining that is super, super soft. I believe it's satin. I don't think that it's silk. Yeah, for sure it's satin. But the design of this blazer is just amazing. This one is size zero. The price is $220. I told you that I had reward points, so I paid less than that. And I was over the moon. I was like, yes, I made it. <laughs> so they have the black color as well. I am I'm thinking that I'm gonna get the black color because this one is really good quality. It's really classy. It looks really like high class. And I think it will look perfect with my uh, toe boots as well. And then you know about this bag because I featured in one of my latest videos and this is a Tory Burch bag. I still don't know how to pronounce that, the name but you told me that this was, well this has the name of the sister of Jackie O. So it has a story that I love. So thank you for letting me know. And on top of that, Jackie from Jackie Loves Bags. Hopefully I'm pronouncing her, her avatar, her Instagram avatar properly. She featured this bag saying that she bought the bag thanks to my recommendation. And thank you so much, Jackie, for letting me know that my recommendation was really helpful. This is the bag. I'm in love with this one for sure. I'm gonna be wearing this non-stop this fall and winter and the rest of the seasons because this is so practical and you see it as small but you can fit your phone your lipstick is it's very practical yes it is a small bag but it fits a lot well the essentials is really really cute i really love that it has this strap shoulder strap so you can wear it here cross body and look at the length you can adjust the length as well and for me, I'm always struggling because the bag just, <laughs> they just fit me right here. But this one, it just fits it perfect, okay? So I am very, very happy with this one. I am thinking to get the green color. I told you, I am very crazy for bags right now, but I'm, I'm trying to be selective with my bags. By the way, I saw my Chanel 19. I saw my Bottega Veneta Jewelry bag. I saw my Chloe bag, so if you watch this video about my my designer bags, it has been reduced <laughs> even more. I think that I only have like three or four designer purses, and I received one today that is a big purchase, and I am so so happy to wear it. I'm gonna be wearing it non-stop for sure and I'm, I'm going to receive another bag from the same designer and you know what saying that let me just proceed to give you an unboxing because this bag deserves a proper unboxing okay I'm gonna remove my nail polish because there is no point to show you my nail polish unless that you're interested and this is the same nail polish that I am using right now okay fine let me show you <laughs> so this is the nail polish that i have on my nails right now i did my nails because i am saving money of course <laughs> i'm broke right now no i'm not i'm not and that's the beauty of budget right of budgeting whatever big purchase you're gonna be doing you need to budget i have been saving for this bag for a couple years plus i sold 17 designer bags so far so I have enough money to make the purchase and I found a good deal on Best Year Collective and I pulled the trigger and I bought the bag. The deal was too good to be true and I was thinking that they were going to cancel my transaction because it was 
uh, it was a really good deal. In fact, the price of this bag, the, the amount of money that I pay for this bag is not even uh, close to the amount of money that is being sold as new. This is not new. This is pre-love as I told you. I believe the buyer bought it on 2014. So the bag is 2014. We're gonna see the papers because the buyer sent me the papers. Even better, that's amazing. Okay, so here is my bag, and this deserves its own unboxing. It's not unboxing, it's unbagging, uh, and it's not even the real bag. <laughs> this one is from Investier Collective. They sent me the dust bag from Investier Collective, and I am beyond happy with my purse. As I told you, was waiting for this one and I knew that this was coming today and what a better way because I'm going on a vacation and I'm going to be taking this back. I cannot wait to start wearing it. As you can see, yeah, you can see the color. Mm -hmm. Is the color that I was missing as part of my designer wardrobe. Well, whatever is left <laughs> yeah and let me show you because it's really really beautiful okay yes yes is the Birkin 30 which is so difficult to find right now and yeah this is supposed to look like this but I'm just gonna show you like like that I'm gonna show you like that, but like this. Birkin 30 on the Togo leather with silver hardware. The silver hardware doesn't have any scratches at all. The condition of the purse is just amazing. To be pre-loved, I believe that the owner preserved and took care of this bag with a lot of love and that's amazing and I don't see any damage on the corners um, they say that it has um, it was discussed that it has a little bit of ink stains inside guys they are like super super tiny I don't care about that and I am beyond happy with this purse. Is the Tori guys? It's very difficult to find the Birkin Tori on the pre love market. The pre love market is crazy right now. They have prices like, yeah, it's super crazy because Hermes has this policy, right? That you need to be. A customer before they offer you a bag and I was watching YouTube videos the girls say that you need to spend the same amount of money on other items to show loyalty to the brand before you get offered a bag so I was like oh, that's insane I'm not gonna be doing that plus I don't care if I buy a new or pre long if I buy a new that's fine so what I my thinking was that you know what I'm not going to spend more money what I'm going to do just be patient and just look like almost every day for a deal and go for it so before this bag I bought two bags on incredible condition but they were canceling the transactions so I don't know if that was a scam or whatever I mean they returned my money but uh, it didn't happen so that's why I was like I don't know about this bag I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it I bought it and I was thinking that they were going to cancel the transaction but they didn't it was a real deal here and I am beyond happy with my bag Alright guys, so I'm just gonna get ready because I need to start packing for the trip and I think I'm gonna take you with me. What do you think? Yes, I think we should do it. I look terrible. I just realized that I look terrible. I have my makeup from this morning, so I apologize for that. With that being said, I'm just going to continue packing and this baby is coming to me. guys we are here and I have been such a bad blogger because 
it is 5 p.m. already and we are here at the lake we are here at Bass Lake Yosemite and we are with Papa yes this is Papa's house this is my husband's dad house home and we're here for the weekend because it's Labor Day and yeah, so we have been hanging out at the lake. This morning we went out for breakfast and we ate at the Forks. It's a very like cozy breakfast place. That is, is a must every time that we are here, we need to go and eat breakfast at there. So we need to take the boat to get there, which is pretty nice. And we had some action. Yes, we had a little bit of fire and Papa reported to 911 and we went ate breakfast and then on our way back, we saw that the firefighters were already taking care of the fire. Fire is there. little bit of action I mean it was not good but it was kind of cool type of thing to see how they 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 were fighting the fire and the good news is that we don't have fire anymore so yeah so we have we had a little bit of action yep so I am here in front of the window but I want to show you the view because here is so beautiful and so relaxing and i was not thinking to post this video but you know what i i think i'm gonna just do it because i already have the footage when i show you the items of my full cups of wardrobe mm -hmm. so i'm just gonna go ahead and just you know include this footage and hopefully you enjoy it so let me show you outside Okay, it's very toasty today. It is 98 degrees and this is Papa's view. He has a beautiful view of the lake. Look at that, that's Bass Lake. And it's just beautiful here. It's so toasty. I have been posting on my Instagram. Oh, the sun is just directly to us. But yeah, so here it is so gorgeous we're gonna go to the third floor because my husband is barbecuing oh i'm so starving all right let's go inside because it's better the ac than here <laughs> yeah okay let me just close this there you go let me just lock it here you go all right so let's go upstairs i don't want to show you around because we have a mess yeah we just I arrived here very late maybe uh, what it takes usually six hours it took us nine hours and a half to arrive here because the entire world was traveling and traffic was very bad especially when you cross um, Los Angeles LA <gasps> that was insane I think that we spent maybe four hours stuck there yeah it was it was rough my husband was driving he was exhausted by the time that he came here papa has a mirror here at the back of the door this is the bathroom <laughs> yes yeah, so this is the downstairs bathroom and he has this mirror that is very convenient because i can show you my outfit i am wearing this dress from old navy I decided to wear this because it's so convenient just to put it on it has pockets and it has this cut out here at the back which is pretty nice and I'm wearing my bikini from H&M uh, yeah I just put it on but I'm not gonna go into the water no mm -mm. I love this dress because as I told you I just put it on and you are ready to go I'm wearing my Chanel sandals that are super comfortable and I just let my hair, uh, you know, 
to do its own thing mm -hmm. so it's vacation mode so there is no need to be like super fancy right we just need to look presentable and cute all right now let's go upstairs okay we're gonna go upstairs and it's getting dark Mm -hmm. That's Papa, husband, and my boy. Hmm, the three generations. Show us the barbecue. Look at that. We're gonna be eating barbecue ribs for dinner. Hmm, they look really good also. Okay guys, so I'm going to leave this vlog here because I need to add this footage as part of the previous video that I already have. This video is going to be posted tomorrow. That means that you're going to be watching this video on Sunday. Yes. And it's Saturday, so you're going to be watching fresh content. What is this? What is this? Like seriously, what is that? <laughs> All right guys, so Thank you so much for watching and if you have more time and if you want to continue watching more of my videos you can click here or here and I'll see you there. Yes, I'm going to start working. Yeah, pretty much now. Mm -hmm. Let's do that.